Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It's two equilateral triangles with a distance of two between the peaks. And through those two peaks, it draws a quarter circle. And it wants to know what is the area of that quarter circle. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. So the question is asking us to find the area of this quarter circle. The area of a quarter circle is equal to pi r squared divided by four. So the only thing we got to do is figure out what is the radius of this quarter circle. I'm thinking let's reflect the whole image down here. So now we have a semicircle and four of these equilateral triangles. In equilateral triangles, all the angles are equal to 60 degrees. I'm specifically interested in this angle right here. And we can cut this 60 in half by bringing down this segment right here, and I'll cut this angle into 30 degrees. And now let's focus on this 30 degree angle. Since the vertex is on the circle, this is called an inscribed angle. And inscribed angles are always half the inscribed arc. So the measure of this arc right here is 60 degrees. And if we shift the angle up here, it's now called a central angle, and that is equal to the subtended arc. So this angle is 60 degrees. And both of these sides of the angle are equal to the radius. Now let's focus on this triangle right here. Since these two sides are equal to each other, it is an isosceles triangle. And every isosceles triangle, the base angles are congruent. So both these angles are equal to each other. Since every triangle has 180 degrees, this is only possible if both of those are 60 degrees. And now since all three angles are equal, we know this is an equilateral triangle. So that means all the sides have to be equal. So both of these sides are equal to two. So now let's bring back our original figure and let's focus on the quarter circle. The radius of this quarter circle is equal to two. And now we're ready to use our area formula. In the place of the radius, let's plug in two. Two squared is equal to four, and these fours will cancel each other out. So the area is equal to pi square units. And this is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. The area of this quarter circle is equal to pi square units. How exciting.